want you to picture an eagle. I want you to picture an eagle and everything that it represents. Everything that embodies all the wild and free spirit. We all associate an eagle with the symbol of freedom and for good reason. An eagle goes where it wants. It flies as high or as low as it pleases. It does not like that fly. <laughs> it does not have to follow any path or road that has been set in place by someone else. It flies on its own in whichever direction it sees fit. It is truly wild and free. So how do we find that wild freedom, that spirit within ourselves? That's a good question. We live our lives driving on roads that others have traveled many times before us. We live in a world where others have decided so many things for us where there are so many expectations that others have placed upon us. Society has stuck us all in boxes to find us as who we should be, how we should dress, what we should think and say in any given situation. We have all been labeled. We have all been put in a cage, whether by others or our own doing. We've all been told that we're not good enough. Too fat, too skinny, too quiet, too loud, too left, too far right. Too pretty or not pretty enough. Too feminine, too masculine, too happy, too sad. The list, it really goes on and on. Sometimes it's others telling us that you're not good enough. And sometimes, and most often, it's the voices in our own head tearing us down, repeating what society has said, what that picture-perfect image of a human being is supposed to be. So how do you stop the voices wherever they may come from? Will they ever truly stop? I have found that they never truly go away. They will always be there. Always. But you can learn to quiet them. You can, le you can learn to tune them out. You can learn to be stronger than those voices in your head. To be wild means to take yourself out of that box that you have been placed in. You may live in that box for a reason. It may be partly truthful. But that box does not have to define you. That label does not define me. I have my foot in many different boxes. But those boxes will never truly define who I am. I am not defined by anyone else's opinions or expectations. I have my own. Thank you very much. My opinions of myself are what matter the most. The expectations I have for myself are what are most important. And the expectations that I set for myself are higher than any that you could give me. But I'm not defined by my own opinions or expectations either. There is freedom in flexibility. There is freedom in being flexible with myself. As the eagle shifts its flight path with the changing winds, I shift my own opinions. I shift my expectations of myself. I shift. I give myself grace and room to be flexible with what is going on around me. Flexibility with myself and flexibility for others.
there is an incredible freedom in giving myself grace to adjust to the changing winds.